So, Jack, is there anything you really want to say? Anything you want to ask? Anything you want to comment to either me or the people that are watching before we uh, let you go? Uh, sure. There's uh, one pretty big story that's not really gotten the press that I feel it deserves, and so I'd like to tell that today. Oh, go uh, ahead, Regarding man. the back door of 2016. So the story begins in 2014. Around this time, Housemaster basically gave up on the server and turned control of it over to George Bush 420. At the time, he advertised it and said that this is what was happening and no one believed him. That's why today we call him House. We just refer to the admin as House. It's actually George Bush 420 because House learned his lesson. Don't run player-based code. Nothing good comes of it. And George was obviously either complicit in it or most, most likely he was just not aware of it. So one of the, uh, the byproducts of George gaining control over the server is that George was obviously much, uh, much more inexperienced about running the server. George has since gotten better at it, but at the time, you know. One of the things that ended up going defunct because I guess House stopped maintaining it was the old 2B2T website. The old website back in the day was the primary way that we were communicating with House. Uh, another interesting and useful thing that it did was it tracked the donation goals for the month. It wasn't a very efficient method, to be fair. It was, it was pretty bad, but it was all we had. Uh, everybody looked down their nose at the Reddit, and so the only means we had to communicate were, were Skype groups. So uh, we didn't really have a good way of staying connected, you know, with things like Discord and such. Yeah, yeah. And so we all wanted the website to come back. And uh, George said, okay, you want the website, fund it. And we all laughed and, and scoffed at it and like, nobody's gonna buy this. We barely make donations as it is. Who's gonna buy the damn website? Like, no one's gonna do this. Maybe over the next year. And shock and awe, less than six months later, the damn thing was paid for. Well, as it turns out, this was that period of time where a select few players were responsible for buying everything about the server. Uh, one particular guy, Imperator Terrare, it's a German word, it means Emperor of Earth, and uh, he's the imp of imp space. He's the one who bought the website. We all thought, well, okay, you know, that somehow this donation goal has been hit. Where's the, where's the website? and nothing fucking happened. What probably happened was, as I said, we were inching by, many people donated exclusively to, just to keep the server running, and uh, so what most likely happened was just that money was dumped into maintaining the server, you know, desperate times. For a good year and a half, no, no website manifested. We were just sort of without. Somehow we made it through all these times without the 2B2T website, but Imp wouldn't let it go. A lot of people were unhappy that House never really came through, on his promise to make this. In retrospect, well, I don't think George knew how to make a website. Probably couldn't hire anyone with only, I think the go donation goal was only like $250. No website could come about because that was just too small an amount of money. So eventually, Tristan and Clyde get the idea along with Imperator to make the website. And so they code up this website, they give it to House slash George Bush and tell him, okay, here's the website, we made it for you, run it. And George, like a complete idiot, runs it on the web box, the same server host the actual server is run on. And uh, at this time, you know, this is pre-Russia. So everything's in George's hands, everything. A few PHP commands is all it took for them to gain root access to the server. Uh, and and we're talking about Nerds Inc, right? Yeah, Nerds Inc. Okay. Uh, this is the formation of Nerds Inc, gotcha. pretty much. Like this was the sole reason for Nerds Inc coming into existence. You know, Talo, Tristan, Clyde, and Jared were the ones primarily doing it. One of the big problems we ran into initially was that they knew where our beds were. They left withers at our beds. They could tell you your join date. They could do all sorts of shit. Uh, in Frickin's interview, I, I listened to it about a week ago, and he said Talo could restart the server. Well, of course he could restart the server. He had root access. I was not happy that this was going on, and so I raised the alarm, and then Sato raised the alarm, and then Yellowstone Joe raised the alarm, and it caused all this drama. And that's what led to the emptying before Russia and the oh formation God. of Constantium as oh. a result. The big plan, from what I understand, was 
was to make all of these stashes and have secret bases and illegal items and all sorts of shit at these locations. And we know for a fact at least one of them came about because of this. The infamous 32K stash that Kane's Law and I ended up going to, the source of all 32Ks, was one such stash. We suspect they had more, but we don't really know. Um, during all of this drama, we raised the alarm and of course, all the people who were like, oh no, you're just paranoid. Well, all the people saying that were all the people involved. We knew who the culprit was. So James Russell's and Kane's Law, and I believe Yellowstone Joe, started pawing through Tristan's GitHub. And that's when Kane's found the region files. Well, that's how they got all this shit on 2B2T. They just uploaded region files to the server. And that's how all these crazy illegal items came about. Enchanted glass, 32Ks, and so yeah, oh, barriers. That was it. That was the big tip off that this was wacky, was that there were barriers. A 1.8 item. The excuse that Tristan used, because we had irrefutable proof that barriers existed, was that, oh, well, they just spawned in items in 2013 with unused item IDs, so that as the versions changed, these item IDs would then coincide with actual items. Sounds good on paper, and is technically reproducible. Yeah, you could do that. Except Yellowstone then went out to this stash and found it was new terrain. Shit that didn't exist in the ground in 2013 when they claimed to have made this that would be in the ground in 1.8. And the other really big tip off was that this was on the heels of the land's grief. And all the while, Bran was like, oh, don't worry, Jack. I can get it put back on the server. Don't worry, Jack. The lands will be okay. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean you can get it put back on the server? And of course, yes, that's exactly what they could have done. All that login shit is handled by the server. So you can spoof logins and successfully log into an account on the server. I don't know the details of how you would do that, but I do know it's possible. Uh, maybe it's not as prevalent today. That's probably how the giant alt list that Mojang eventually had to migrate, that's probably how that all came about. People would just join carelessly big, dangerous multiplayer servers and they'd have their information stolen. So is it any wonder that if you have root access, so they had access to George Bush 420 that way, uh, that's how they probably made that end portal that they then used to grief Space Valk. Uh, too. And in interestingly, I don't know, I still can't tell for sure if House uh, George Bush was complicit or if they just took advantage of it and he didn't know or what. But that's that's how they got access to George Bush 420. Oh, and then they also, another shady thing they did, they got lucky in that there was this giant Chinese database leak that happened at the exact same time. So a lot of us just wrote it off as the Chinese database Yeah, isn't issue. that what happened? There was a Chinese database, but it didn't have anything to do that we know of with the server. They got shit from the server itself because, as I said, they had direct access. It wasn't really a matter of, well, did the Chinese database leak do it or not? It didn't matter. Uh, they got access to uh, a friend of mine, the Pompano, who was a, uh, a valuable member of Valkyria. He quit playing for a long time and they logged in to his account in an effort to fool me into a uh, you know, giving away coordinates or something. I think they were they were trying to find my big stash from the lands because they were still trying to over eliminate the lands entirely. And uh, so what better way to do it than to log into an old friend's account? We already suspected they were, or figure out something, they had some level of access. Like I said, we knew they were the culprit. So I was, I was too hesitant to whisper on 2B2T. We were using Skype and Steam. And so I messaged Pompano over Steam and he's like, oh yeah, no, that's not me. And then he nuked his account. And I'm like, holy shit, we nearly got taken for a ride there. They had access to George Bush. And then I believe George Bush got mad at them. But he wasn't too mad at them because then he ended up spawning in items for them. But I'm not entirely certain that it was like, maybe it was just in good nature. Maybe he didn't realize the extent of access that they had. I, I really don't know. Obviously, these are private conversations. Like, I only know what I know because it's been several years later and uh, people are more willing to talk about shit several years later than when it initially happens. So I've been trying to find out more, but nobody's really got anything else to say on the matter. But you know, that's just how this this server works. Like nobody keeps their mouths shut for it. That's the thing. No, nothing stays a secret forever. People inevitably talk. You can have the greatest achievements in the world and keep it a total secret, but eventually you're going to want to brag about them. Eventually someone's going to say, oh yeah, 
I did this and this is how I did it. Look at how awesome I am. Yeah. That's just how people are. That's human nature. Is there anything else you want to really add? Um, uh, not particularly, no. Uh, just, uh, clean your room. <laughs>